Mastering the magic of on, using on, for days and dates. Hello, language learners. Welcome back to our Grammar Fundamentals series. Today, we're diving deep into the world of prepositions with a focus on the simple preposition, on. Specifically, we're going to explore how on is used for days and dates. Prepositions can be tricky, but once you've mastered them, your English will sound much more natural and fluent. So, let's get started. The preposition on is often used in English to indicate specific days and dates. For example, you might say, I was born on July 4th, or we have a meeting on Monday. Remember, the preposition on is used before days of the week, specific calendar days, and special days like holidays. Let's explore this further in the following sections. When referring to days of the week, we use on. For example, I'm visiting my grandma on Sunday. The supermarket is closed on Wednesday. Remember, on is only used with individual days, not with weekends or weekdays as a whole. Similarly, when referring to specific days of the month or year, we also use on. For example, my birthday is on the 16th of April. Thanksgiving is celebrated on the fourth Thursday in November in the United States. And what about special days, like holidays or your own birthday? Yep, you guessed it, we use on here too. For instance, we exchange gifts on Christmas Day. They're getting married on Valentine's Day. This also includes events and celebrations like on my birthday or on our anniversary. And there you have it. We've covered how to use on for days, dates, and special occasions. It might seem small, but this simple preposition can make a big difference in your English fluency. Remember, on goes with individual days and specific dates. So keep practicing and you'll master it in no time. We hope you found this lesson helpful. See you in our next video where we will continue our journey in mastering prepositions. Happy learning, and until next time, keep practicing.